What's up, cats? Welcome back. I'm New Connor, and today I've got a quick adventure ahead as I explore the vibrant and historic city of London in just 24 hours. I was scheduled a 17 hour layover here from Egypt, so I decided to just bump that up a couple days so I could take some time to explore London. So, let's see what London is all about. London. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm waiting for my breakfast at my hotel, so I figured I'd go on a stroll. I don't have my mic on me, but that's okay. And it's funny because there's just hotels tucked in all these buildings. It's like they're literally just hotel after hotel, one after another in these dope buildings. Great architecture. Everyone's walking around. It's not even 8 a.m. There's so many people out. You don't see that too often in the States at least. So after getting some coffee to figure out my day, since I love bikes, I decided to just hop on some bikes and explore the city. This way I can choose my own path through the city and really get to see a lot more. Going to museums is a must for me because London is known for having some incredible museums. And at this point in my day, my friends in England were texting me, telling me about all the sites to check out. Unfortunately, they live outside London, so I didn't have time to see them, but let's head out and start roaming. So in classic England fashion, raining a little bit, but honestly the weather feels great. So we're just gonna walk around, go check out Hyde Park, London Hyde Park. I grew up in Hyde Park, Cincinnati, Ohio. We got the double deckers. Yeah, let's see, uh, see what London's all about. So after the rain cleared up, it really became a nice day and at this point I really got to enjoy biking through this gorgeous city. London really has some beautiful architecture mixed with some very modern buildings as well. Just got a little wrap from that shop. Had a lovely chat with the lady right in there. She was a sweetheart. I'm gonna go check out the Natural History Museum. I made my way to the Natural History Museum and the British Museums, and these museums are absolutely insane. I could literally spend days exploring these places, and they are so, so well presented, offering so much information on everything. Also, they are free, which is always nice. I would recommend getting tickets online before you go so you don't have to wait in the lines. After exploring the museums for hours, I biked all over the city, stopping at some of the sites like the Great Fire Monument and the Leiden Hall Market. Leiden? Leiden? So let's talk about it. London. I'm very curious as to what my English friends think of London, their perspective, because I'm sure it's completely different than mine. Well, a lot of them have lived in London. but. First glance, London's pretty chill. I mean, the architecture is just insane. Definitely reminds me of Chicago, flat, a lot of people biking, but it just got like way more like, look at this. Nooks and crannies everywhere, packed little shops. Chicago's got that too, but London's on like a whole nother scale. Tons of museums. The museums, I went to the British Museum and the History Museum, and they were absolutely insane. So packed, probably because it's a Friday, there were a lot of schools, field trips there. But literally, it would take a couple days to like really explore both of those places. And it's like a super walkable city. It ended up being a pretty nice day, it started off raining. But yeah, London. I finished my day biking all the way to the other side of the city to the Camden Market. 
This place was very much alive and way bigger than I thought, offering so much more from souvenirs to restaurants and nightlife. So there you have it. A quick day trip to London. I absolutely love this city. It is super diverse, super beautiful. I would love to spend more time here. I checked out of my hotel and I hopped on a quick subway around the corner to the airport, quick and easy. Thanks for checking out this short video and to all my English friends, I will definitely be coming back to have a true visit with you guys, I promise. Until next time, peace.